uh, keeps it into the home, into the house, very silently. Because if he, if 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 hurts our son, they will chase us. So we are frightened if they will hear our voice. On the 25th of August, a huge population of Rohingya Muslims travelled across Myanmar and into Bangladesh through about 20 sites. Some of them crossed rivers and lakes. 650,000 of them are located here in Kutupalong Mega Camp in uh, Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh. When they saw my elder brother follow him, they shoot on the way. On my, I, I saw also my own eye and they shot on the way. So I lost my elder brother. So we are running away. We're a little baby, how can he run? How can he run? So I think that we have to talk him, we have to take care of him because he, has, he is fatherless. He has no support. I have to support him. This is, this is my child. So you must take care of him. I must take care of him. So I decided um, this is not my brother's child. This is my child. We have lo we, I love him own my child as my own child. Wow. Women have lost their husbands during the running. Some of them know that they're dead and some of them still have no idea where they are. The one thing that always uh, surprises me is the number of unaccompanied children that follow us for miles and miles and miles. And we ask ourselves, where are their parents? Where are the people that should be taking care of them? A huge proportion of the children here are unaccompanied minors. Conditions in Kutapalong are really difficult to live in water, sanitation, hygiene, food security, school, and the huge concern of protection. Samaritan's Purse are working through local partners to provide food distributions, non-food items, kitchen sets, hygiene kits, dignity kits, and also installing deep wells to provide clean water to the population here. One of the things that is absent in the camp here is the ability to treat complex surgical cases. So Samaritan's Purse is supporting Memorial Christian Hospital, located about two hours north of the camp, uh, with staff, medical equipment and supplies. Within 48 hours of um, things erupting to the south of us, we realized that we were in deep trouble. For the last several months, MCH has been providing surgeries for the Rohingya patients. However, um, their systems have quickly become overwhelmed, and Samaritan's Purse has come in to provide staff as well as supplies to support this cause. So here's somebody who's essentially from the other side of the conflict. And he got a shotgun blast to his left shoulder 10 days ago. The, the love of Christ doesn't know any bounds. And so we're helping whoever comes our way in the situation. We go to the nth degree to make sure that each and every patient, that they are not only hearing the gospel, but they're going to see and feel the gospel for the first time in their lives. The Rohingyans have been tragically abused, um, killed, and essentially run out of their country. For the last several months, I've felt a burden to not only care for them physically, but to be able to care for them spiritually as well. Knowing that no matter what care we give them, at the end, they need the love of Jesus Christ. That's what will heal them. Through Samaritan's Purse, we can do that.